Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakodash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, the Holy One of Israel, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth uh, across the four corners of the earth, and much love to you, men, women, and children, uh, part of the hopeful elect that are listening, learning, and helping. And believing in all sincerity and humility to you all, I say shalom and greetings. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through spirit. All right, so as you can see, I have an image here of, I'm just say it's a straight abomination, man, to put it plainly. But this was, uh, I have uh, coming up in a few moments, there's going to be uh, the article, uh, the title of this article, uh, where this is going on. But basically, it says that this is a 25 foot tall. BLM or Black Lives Matter statue that was erected in uh, New York. I'm not sure if it's full display on for the city just yet because it was hard for me trying to I, a brother sent this earlier and it was hard for me trying to find the original article but then when I typed in the exact words it came up. I guess somebody had tweeted it out or whatever but nonetheless they setting this up right uh, and this is uh, it's like 15,000 pounds this thing weighs 15,000 pounds and it's made of brass Right. And so uh, this is supposed to be representative of Black Lives Matter. So, you know, so many thoughts came to my head, but I'm like, what what make what is making it uh, representative of Black Lives Matter? Because, first of all, this isn't how so-called black people in America look. All right. And so then as I dug deep into what he was saying, you know, first, I, of course, I got a couple of scriptures on idolatry. All right. But um. Uh, idol gods, but I want to say something first because this image of this uh, thing that's sitting here, this is uh, it's it said he loves mixing his lately his thing of late. The artist has been combining African masks with European figures. That's what he said. So this abomination is not representative of so-called black people in America. Number one, nor of the struggle. Okay, you see where it says now it says uh, worship. Strange, 25 foot tall BLM idol unveiled in New York City Rockefeller Center. Right, and who are the Rockefellers, right? One of the so called elite banking families that's being wicked and bringing wickedness across the earth, you know, and they, are, they allowed this. They don't, don't think they didn't okay this to happen, right? But they said they were mixing African masks and European figure, figures. So this thing is literally. One, two different cultures, number one, two different ethnicities. But not only that, it's a combination of, of what? The people who ruled us in the past life as under uh, under Egypt, all right? The so-called Africans, the Hamites. And now the other half is uh, what they were most likely, those are, he said, European figures. But he's most likely referring to Greek or Roman, right? Which are Edomites, so not only is this thing an abomination, it's a combination of our oppressors, all right? The, it breaks, this thing is breaking so many laws. It's an idol god, it has a bald hair, it has no uh, facial, uh, facial hair. It's two different people, and it's most likely, it could also be a sodomite. I thought about that as well. He could be a sodomite, this thing could be a woman, all right? And I have uh, something that I can uh, mention that on. So it's just so many reasons why this thing is off, and people are already coming up to it. People are taking pictures with it. You know, but let me let me get some of these scriptures first. Oh, and also they said something they refer. I, I forgot exactly how they framed it, but they said something along of, of that. It's an uh, they erected an oracle. They're calling it an oracle. And I, I thought that was interesting as well. You know, but these these people are just wicked, man. But let me go to Romans real quick. Uh, that word oracle hit me. This is. Um, let me see. The Romans 3 and 2, it says, Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of the Most High. Right? So unto, uh, and what, when you go into oracles, it's a word like uh, logion, I believe is how you say it, which basically uh, means like a divine utterance. Right? Divine words. And that's what, we, that's what we speak through the Spirit. We speak a divine utterance of the Scriptures. Right? Uh, we utter things that these people can't quite understand because it's from the heavens. This is 1 Peter 4 and 11. It says, if any man speak, 
Let him speak as the oracles of the Most High, Yahweh. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which the Most High giveth, that the Most High in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. You see that? So if you're speaking of your the different things you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be doing as according to the oracles, the divine utterance of Yahweh Shemel Shai, the gospel of truth. Right, but now look, they have this uh, uh, erected this abomination before the world as a represent representation uh, of uh, the children of Israel, as a representation of our struggle, right? But th th we know that trans transgenders were the people in in charge of uh, the Black Lives uh, Matter movement. You know, they're pushing a transgender movement. Trying to make it seem like it's our issue. Talking about trans Black Lives Matter. One of the, the I believe the founder just recently bought like uh, something like one point four million dollar house, something like that, man. You know that whole organization and movement is chaotic. It's wicked. It's out of order, and it's not represent representative of the the people that it was intended to be. And right now they say Black Lives Matter. This ish this this thing here is black, right? Literally black. Whereas the scriptures, uh, we know according to the scriptures and according to life, we're, we're brown colored people, right? We're different shades of brown. But this thing is literally black, you know, void of light, you know, wicked, tainted, abominable. That's what everything about this image is. But let me go. Um, so and this thing is not speaking at all. Definitely not speaking as the oracle, uh, the oracles of the most high. You know, this is an abomination. I have a couple other points that I want to get going on about its history and where uh, some of the things that are env envisioned here are representative because this goes deeper than a mask and a guy sitting with a torch. It goes deeper than that. But this is Leviticus 19 and 4. It says, Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your power. That's a molten god, right? Because it's made of brass. They formed it to be this way, man. All right. Don't think for a second that they're not, they're they're going to call this thing. This is going to be a god. People out there taking pictures with it, right? This is a just like the molten calf, man. You know, people reverencing something that's wicked. You know, that's not a um, that's just not out there for people to be like, hey, cool. The Black Lives Matter people, they're going to start worshiping this thing. They might start putting this thing up as their emojis and their thumbnails. You know, it, it doesn't look like it has a gender. You know, you would think it's a man, but hey, that thing, it could be a man or a woman, man. Got them little lumps on his head, eyes closed. This is Psalms 97 and uh, 7. It says, Confounded be all they that serve graven images that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. You know, so he's, the dude is boasting. He's making all these examples of uh, saying like, of all these projects he likes to do. And this is on Reuters, by the way. But he like all of these projects and things, the combination they like to make. He's boasting himself of idol gods. And the fact is, if you can get so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American to believe this folly, it, it, you know, it worked even more, man. This has nothing to do with you, nor your people, nor your plight, nor your struggle. But our people take it up and they run with it. Oh, he made something for Black Lives Matter. Right. This is Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 13. It says, for this man that of earthly matter maketh brittle vessels and graven images knoweth himself to offend above all others this is offensive man all right the creator the designer and everybody that had a hand in this this is offensive and it should be offensive to all you israelites out there that think this is a representation of you and your people these men are you're not africans according to galatians 4 and 26 jerusalem is the motherland exodus 11 and 7 says he had made a difference between egypt and israel we are not these people Right, so this, and and this is a offend. Uh, who the most? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Erecting this statue of of something that people will reverence as a god. Okay, it says, um, and all enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection are most foolish, and are more miserable than very babes, for they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods, which neither have the use of eyes to see, and this thing's eyes are literally closed. Right, uh, it says, nor noses to draw breath. This thing got a big ass nose, but ain't no oxygen going through there. It's an idol god. Nor ears to hear. I don't see ears on it. <laughs> this is spiritual. Nor fingers of hands to handle. And as for their feet, they are slow to go. So in his hand, that hand not moving, that hand is gonna stay in that same position position until somebody breaks it off. 
And it says they are slow to go, meaning he can't move. He's sitting in that seat. He ain't getting up, man. Like we always say, we started living power. Hey, this must be the week of uh, uh, of uh, idolatry, man. We know idolatry is all over the world, but you had Elon casting out their idols. Now you got one. They cast their idols out, so America said, okay, let's erect something else right now. You know, this is witchcraft, man. It says, for a man made them, and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them, but no man can make a god like unto himself. For being mortal, he worketh the dead thing with wicked hands, for he himself is better than the thing which he worshipeth. See, you know, he probably out there like, man, this is my greatest work, you know, but he better than that because this thing is never going to breathe. It says, um, which he worshipeth, whereas he lived once, but they never. Same goes for your Buddha, Buddhas and your Allahs and your, uh, your, uh, your, your fake Jesus. Your, uh, you know, all of those are idol gods, man. It says, um, yea, they worship those beasts also that are most hateful for being compared together. Some are worse than others. Now, granted, right, uh, Chezzy might be worse than this thing because this thing isn't being reverenced on a great level soon where people are here bowing down to it. But hey, man, people are foolish enough to believe this. What did the children of Israel do in the wilderness? They say they told uh, Aaron, they said, hey, give us, uh, uh, take our earrings and make us a God, you know? So Black Lives Matter through the spirit, somebody probably came to Black Lives Matter. They said, hey, yo, we need a, we need a symbol, right? This goes back to symbolism, right? We need a symbol, something that's representative of uh, of our struggle, some of that is representative of our history, so they'll try to think they're African, you know, but some also representative of the future, so they try to combine them with Esau, saying that eventually maybe we can mold together, maybe we can be on one accord, but you're never going to be on one accord with the so-called white man, he's going to keep destroying you and keep resurrecting things like this instead of actually uh, saying that he was wrong and he's a demon, alright, it says neither are they beautiful, such as much to be desi desired and respect the beast but they went without the praise of the Most High and his blessing. This thing ain't getting the blessing of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And this thing is not beautiful at all. This thing is hideous, to be real. That's what they, even in the, in the uh, paragraph, it says strange. This thing is weird, man. You know, that's a strange idol God. You know, um, before I get my next verse, I want to make a couple comments. So the uh, European figures in the African mass, right? We know that those uh, European figures... Really go back to when they were carrying that torch is what did it. I'm like, what is it about this? You know, and that's all like, let me look this up because why would a black so called black mass have you holding a torch in his hand? What is the first thing you think of is a Statue of Liberty, right? But uh, then I was like, it goes deeper than that. Then I thought of uh, the Olympics, right? And what and we know that the Olympians, right? That was goes back to Greek, Greek god worship, false idol god worship. It says, um. Uh, like, right, Roman Greece, and also, uh, so the fire. When you go, I was like, let me see what the uh, fire is representative of it. The with the the Olympians and the torch, and they were saying that they would have that fire going throughout the tournaments from the beginning to the end, so that uh, Prometheus wouldn't steal it away, and hopes that Prometheus wouldn't steal it away. And Prometheus was the supposedly the Titan god of war. I mean, a fire. You know, and so this is this is all this is Rome, this is Greeks, this is Egypt, all it is bound up into one, man. All right, and it says they they used to light the fire, they used to ignite the fire at a, a, a goddess called uh, Hera, which was her at her temple. They used to ignite it at her temple, and Hera is the sister and wife of Zeus. So incest, right? You got these, and this this is what they're worshiping though. And Hera was a queen of the gods. Which is off. That's Jeremiah 44 says that the queen of heaven worship is idolatry and wicked, man. All right. And the African, so that's the uh, Greek and Roman uh, counterpart of it, you know. But I'm like, it's more to these African masks, too. Let me let me look up some of these African masks. So as I look up African masks, it says the wearer used to, when you used to put those uh, Hamites uh, used to put on those masks, what did they used to do? They used to uh they they used to do the dances around the fire. They were done for rituals, right? And they would say the mask, the wearer of the mask was like a medium between the community the community and the spirits. So this is a demonic ritual taking place, right? Where they were uh they were going in and th and thinking that they were doing something uh spiritual, but really they were being demons and worshiping up 
uh, doing uh, enchantments and, and rituals. And the Lord says we're not supposed to do that type of thing. This is um, Deuteronomy 18, and and I start at 9. It says, which thou art come, when, when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. It says, for all the dogs that do those things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy power hath doth do it, drive them out from before thee. You see that? So these people were, uh, that's what they used to do. And they still do. They wear these masks. You have uh, Edomites that do like masquerades, right? And they conjure spears with that. I was watching uh, a while ago, the Borgias, right? And on that, they had a masquerade. And they, they asked the Pope, they said, well, who are you supposed to be tonight? Or he said, uh, I, he's, I'm supposed to be Janice. And we all know Janice goes back to January, right? One face looks to the past and one face looks to the future, you know? And so th that's the same thing. These same idolatries are the, the idolatry. I mean, uh, ideologies are the ideologies of the heathen, right? So those masks were a medium, right? So the Lord says, you're not supposed to be a consultant with familiar spirits, that's what they're doing. They're consulting with familiar spirits. And so they're they're erecting these statues, uh, statues, making people believe that they're doing this out of love for BLM and to give them a face and to make it non-binary. That, that's what all I think of, like something where they, they be saying non-binary and it's genderless. That's what I'm thinking of when I see something like this. And that's their intended person, purpose, along with the uh, combination of, of, of uh, Ham and uh, Esau coming together, ruling over Israel, making Israel believe once again that they are for them when they're really their enemies, man. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up with this last one. This is Wisdom of Solomon 4, 14 and verse uh, verse 10. It says, for that for that which is made shall be punished together which with him that made it. Hey, the man that created this and all of those other people, they're gonna be destroyed too. It says, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation because in the creature of the Most High, they are becoming an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. See, things like this are a stumbling block to people. People that, that don't believe in the Bible, that don't only believe in Black Lives Matter movement, they'll go out and they'll be serving and they'll, they'll be praising this thing, right? They'll be idolizing it. So the Heavenly Father, he, he doesn't like that. He said there's a snare to the feet of the unwise. They, they capture the, the souls of men. That's what all these idol guys do. For those on that have, that don't have faith and for those that don't believe. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them are the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. See, the only the Lord is the only one from the beginning. For by the vainglory of men they entered into the world, and therefore they shall come shortly to an end. Right. This is a vainglory of the men. That's why this thing is entered into the world, man. You know? We, we see that now through the spirit. This is the vainglory of men why this thing was created. You might have had Black Lives Matter people pushing for it, but somebody created. Or you had this guy who was, he was like, you know what? I'm inspired. I'm going to create a Black Lives Matter statue. It's going to be consistent of these things, you know? But this is all wickedness and abomination in the eyes of the Lord, man. And this thing is going to be destroyed too. And all you people that believe you're in Black Lives Matter, which is ultimately for your destruction. All right? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Until next time, Shalom.